Well, hey everybody, welcome to another Not Thursday in New Hampshire. The bad news is the weather sucks. The good news is I have a new flashlight to show you. Our friends at Thrunite just sent along the BSS version 4. Very, very cool 18650 rechargeable flashlight. And as always with Thrunite flashlights, uh, very nicely ergonomically set up. This one is an interesting one because it has this uh, self-defense strike bezel on it. But that does come off easily, which I prefer it that way. Uh, but if you do choose to run it that way for whatever reason you may need, uh, just be known that it makes the beam pattern flower-like. So I've had the flashlight for about a week now. This is an overview, not so much a review, but I own at this point probably a couple dozen through night flashlights, all super dependable. Just putting that out there for you guys. They sent this along for me to show to you, but on my end of it, I've had nothing but good luck with the durability and builds and usability of my through night flashlights. And uh, I expect this one to be the same. As usual with through night flashlights, one of the things that I really love that they do is the tail cap switch is large and beautiful, but yet it is still tail cap standable. And being that the light is not only for tactical purposes, it's also set up to be EDC'd. So being able to use it like that in lantern mode is always a win-win for me uh, in preference of using a flashlight. So this is the cool white version that I'm showing you guys and you get in the box, you get the paperwork, a holster, the flashlight, a 3100 milliamp hour rechargeable 18650 battery, micro USB cable, lanyard, strike bezel, red filter bezel. Now check this out, this is kind of cool. You actually get two replacement uh, plug ports for the USB port. You get a spare clicky tail button and two O-rings. So that right there actually is quite the bonus. So a very noticeable thing about the body of this light compared to the other ones is they made it more consistent with a one inch diameter along the entire tube so you can weapon mount it uh, and not only that it just it feels a lot better having that consistent diameter all the way across when grabbing onto it. The pocket clip tight as usual it ain't a wet noodle it does ride about three quarters of the way up so it's not a deep pocket carry but it is tight at the least also when you pull off this uh, aluminum strike bezel it does actually come with a red filter that threads on nicely So if that is something that you need, want, or desire, that's a great addition. 
So now we'll get into the usability side of why it's set up for tactical and everyday carry. So you have your side switch, okay? That allows you to cycle through the three settings or long press, get your moon, triple click for your strobe. And your tail cap switch is set for nothing but turbo. So from a tactical perspective, or, you know, you're out and about doing whatever you need to do and you just need to get to bright light quick, you draw it, click it, and you're on turbo. So that's how this is set up where you have your two ways of using it. Side switch, tail cap switch. And as usual, I will run a lot of footage of me using it outside because realistically, that's what most people want to see is the beam pattern. Uh, your Firefly mode is 0.54 lumens, 56 days of runtime. And then getting into low mode, 33 lumens, 55 hours, 42 minutes. It's a nice 33 lumens. Medium mode, 350 lumens. You get four and a half hours of runtime. Now your high mode is 1,426 lumens, and then as the light gets warm, it backs itself down to 634 lumens. Your high mode is rated to last 130 seconds plus 150 minutes. And I can say that as using this out here, being that it is an 18650 light that's pretty much spot on using that turbo i got about two minutes of absolute you know daylight out here and then it did back itself down noticeably not only so much in the light it was giving out but it cooled down And then you have your turbo mode on the tail cap, which is 2,523 lumens, which will last for 125 seconds, and then back down to 614 lumens, which you will get 147 minutes out of. Yeah, it's just gross out here. But as usual with these through night flashlights, drop proof, waterproof, uh, never had a problem at all with any of them and with that strike bezel on if you kept it on well that really protects your lens tremendously So my pros and cons, my thoughts on this. Uh, it is a much better ergonomic design with the one inch diameter tube consistent. I like that. Buttons, as always, very responsive. That's one thing I like about through nights. The major thing for me, tail cap switch, but tail cap standable with a moonlight mode. You know, tactical lights are great, but you got to be practical as well. You're going to EDC it, and for me, I want a moonlight, and I want to be able to use it as a lantern. I can do without the strike bezel, but that's the beauty of it. It threads off, and the light's very good looking. The fact that the battery can be charged externally, that is always a plus in a charger, so you don't have to charge it through the flashlight itself. You know, that's a great option to have, but me, I like to charge all my batteries in my battery charger. Other than that, through night, thank you very much. Another winner here, and everybody out there who tunes in to watch, I appreciate it. Get out, explore your world, light up your world, and most importantly, enjoy your not.
Thursday.